If you're thinking about um, starting a project or working on your local green space and you're wondering whether you need to start a community group or get other people involved, there are obviously some things you can do by yourself like litter picking, but I'd always kind of recommend talking to your local community, talking to your neighbours, your family, your friends, you and even go like door knocking to people you don't know to see who's interested in getting involved in your project. You can have a much bigger impact and also probably a more rewarding experience if you get other people involved. So yeah, I'd always suggest just getting out there and seeing who's interested because you never know where it might lead. There are several types of community groups. So um, the simplest one is an unincorporated association. So if you're just a group of volunteers uh, who aren't looking to kind of own property as a group, or anything like that, then this is probably the group for you because it's the simplest to set up. Um, so an unincorporated association will just have either a constitution or a governing document, which basically just a set of rules, and it says um, what the group's gonna do and how it's gonna do it. If you want to get incorporated, um, so you're an incorporated group, that means that um, the group itself is a separate legal um, entity uh, from the individuals in it. So um, this means that the group can um, enter contracts or buy property um, and if the group's in debt then it's on the group rather than the individuals in the group. Um, and yeah, if you want to do this then you would probably want to talk to a solicitor to make sure you're getting the right advice. You could also form a charity which has quite a lot more involved in it. Uh, so um, if you're wanting to do that, you'll probably want to talk to a solicitor and make sure you are getting the right advice.